Tommy Fury interests me, you know. Definitely Tommy Fury interests me. We go to England and, and sell out some arenas over there. Second uh, day of the press conference. You had a lot to say about, uh, you know, Diaz and, uh, you know, the, the first time around. Just how, how is it different this second time around here in New York? Um, it's different because I'm not going to get to break his face here in New York. So that's definitely different, you know. Um, the atmosphere is a little different because uh, I just had a lot of more respect before he said those uh, things about me. I still got a tons of respect for the guy and everything he's done in his career. He's had a great career in MMA, you know. So um, it's nothing personal, like I've always said. But yeah, I actually want to hurt him on this fight, you know. Do you train any differently for a boxing match as compared to a UFC fight? Oh, way different. The whole thing is like a 180 degree turn, you know. MMA, if I did, you know, boxing just broken down into boxing was like maybe once every two weeks or once a week whereas in every day I box every day I hit the bags every day I do pads in MMA we got a lot of ground to cover you got to work your jiu-jitsu offense and defense you got to work your wrestling offense and defense you got to get weight training sessions in there because you're using your muscles to, to gain leverage over individuals you got to still be able to run you still got to be able to strike so you got to do your kicks your knees your elbows so the boxing takes a back seat to, to a lot of that I still do it every day I throw hands but it's not it's not like when I'm boxing now that I'm boxing twice a day and just running you know completely different so stamina could be a big factor in the fight oh for sure stamina is, is a big factor in the fight it's a different motor system as in kicks require a lot a ton of energy and wrestling requires a ton of energy but it's different you know in boxing you know you got these like small muscles and you're just you know the goals are also different you know we we have uh five minute rounds these are three minute rounds but you go up to 12 minutes so the, the whole train 12 rounds the whole training is way way different and I've um, I've been preparing since January just for that moment you know how's the training with Capetillo it's amazing Capetillo is the best since we started training it was like like an uncle of mine or something and we clinked up immediately and, and it's been great we've been doing nothing but magic I like his work style his his workforce and he laid out the plan basically as soon as I got the family like this is what we'll be doing and for how long we'll be doing it for and and by this time, you'll be looking like this, and I'll have you in shape by this week. And he broke it all down way before it happened. So to see it happen and unfold, how just as he said, it's it's fucking amazing. I got all my faith in this guy. Oh, hey, uh, pro boxing fans, does this journey end with that Jake Paul fight, in your opinion? Not with Jake Paul. It's 100% more likely with Logan Paul. Jake don't sell like Logan. And uh, the UFC allowed me to, to come do some boxing matches. But Jake has said some not pleasant things about Dana White, you know, also about the company UFC. So UFC's basically said, fuck you. We're not going to let you go get money with our biggest draw, you know. So I could fight Logan Paul, but Jake Paul's ass, I, I can't, um, unless he was to walk around here and say something stupid, I can't touch him, you know, in a ring. Nate's been talking about Leon and Connor, like, I mean, back in the UFC, fighting those guys when he goes Who, back. Who's talking about Nate is. Oh, uh, yeah, Nate. Nate talks a lot of crazy shit. I mean, <laughs> Leon's a current champion of the world. He don't get, he give three fucks less, I'm sure, about Nate, you know, and I don't know who else he's talking about, but I don't give a fuck. I hope he's talking about other people and distracted and not thinking about me. So I sleep his ass even quicker. Why are you second billing uh, to Nate? Say it again? Why are you second billing on, on this to Nate? Because it should say Nate, the diva Diaz, you know? He said that if the poster wasn't like this, he wouldn't fight. I'm not fighting. If it's in New York, I'm not fighting. If the fight's in Miami, I'm not fighting. If the fight's in Texas, I'm not fighting. Man, brother, you sure you're a fighter? You sure you want to fight? You know, he said it had to, his name had to be at the top. Though I obviously clearly won the first match, you know? So there's a lot of shit out there that they got me, they rubbed me the wrong way, you know? It's got me all into my feelings. And and on June 1st, I get to express those feelings. George, what does this uh, boxing match uh, mean for your legacy to our Cuban-American community? I love it. Um, my roots started in uh, boxing. I first discovered boxing when I was 7, 8. Then around 12, 13 years old, I discovered MMA. And I pledged my life to it. And I did it for, for as long as I could and as hard as I could. And now um, I get to box and show the world what I could do. And out of all the arts, it's the one that came the easiest to me, you know? Not that boxing is easy or nothing like that, but wrestling was always a a headache and a nightmare for me. I put countless and countless amount of hours in there just to work the defense of it, just to work the offense of it. Same with jiu-jitsu. Boxing, though, I was like a fish to water. I could immediately understand concepts, range, timing, setups, you know, all, all that stuff, you know. So I always felt in boxing, I had a lot of gifts that God bestowed on me. 
Corey, what's up, brother? Matt Tucker, Fight Hub TV. I'm good, man. Thank you. Uh, so, what do you think of Nate's fight against Jake, and how can you exploit those holes in this game? I thought that was boring. I mean, bo bo on both ends, you know, neither of those guys gave boxing the proper respect that it needs to be, which is first, show up in fucking utterly great shape to be able to throw heat for however many rounds that we're supposed to go. And just neither of them were, were mean, you know. Looking at Nate's shape and being a fighter and, and having competed against him, he didn't look nowhere near in shape. Like, I don't think he took Jake at all seriously. It looks like he just came out of the couch and hit some pads and, okay, I'm going to box, you know. Um, I'm hoping he don't come in like that, but at the same time, I don't give a fuck, you know. If you make that mistake with me, you, you know I have bad intentions every second that I'm in front of you. Um, I, I don't really think much of that fight, you know. What do you think? What would, uh, you, what, what would you have to do well in order to come away with the, the victory? Just be in shape. That's it. That's all I got to do is be in shape. I'm naturally way faster, better athlete, hit harder, better reflexes. And I know my boxing is better because I already stepped in there with him. My fundamentals are better. And now all I've been doing is boxing the last four months of my life. You know, since January, I've been in an intensive camp just boxing and learning to trade. I'm just eager now to get out there and, and see what it's worth. You know? well, what do you think uh, Kimbo would say so you go on a stage like this? Kimbo would say, go get your bread, man. <laughs> well, hey, you said, bread. Well, hey, you said you're not interested in Jake Paul, but uh, he had a big fight with Tommy Fury. Is that someone that would interest you? Yeah, Tommy Fury interests me, you know. Definitely Tommy Fury interests me. We go to England and, and sell out some arenas over there. He's got some matches, and he has a win over Jake, you know, and the UFC will let me fight Tommy, so I'll definitely go over there and, and throw down with Tommy at some point. Oh, okay. uh, as the first BMF title holder, what do you think about Max Holloway's performance against... Um... Wow. Okay. wow, Max Holloway, wow. That is how you're supposed to win a BMF title. Just, he's up four rounds to one. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Long night, early mornings. Um, <laughs> And basically, 10 seconds left to go, and he's willing to fucking risk it all. He's willing to say, fuck it. Let's find out who the real bad motherfucker is, and then he delivers that, you know. One BMF has a fastest knockout in the world. The other BMF has the latest knockout in history, and it's just like he over-delivered in so many ways, man. I'm the, I'm the biggest fan of Max. I've always been, whether this fight had ever happened or not, but this just made me that much more of a Max fan for life. Oh, there. Uh, Kevin Garcia with Fight Hype. Just a quick question for you. After the result between Engano and Fury, and, excuse me, and Joshua, do you think an MMA fighter can still potentially go up against the champion in boxing and come out with a better result, a W even? Definitely. Um, I think Joshua didn't go his way, but uh, the Tyson fight was close, you know. Engano had his moments in there. Obviously, boxers are going to be better at boxing than MMA guys, but at the end of the day, it's a fight. <laughs> Anything can happen. You know, you're just one punch away from getting hurt. There's there's a guys that have better skill sets than others, you know, so I think it could happen. An MMA guy could go in there and win the belt. It was pretty close with Tyson, Fury, and Gano, especially, you know, um, AJ had a... a I just blanked out on his name. Anthony Joshua, AJ, had some freaking... Uh, blueprints um, in Ghana, right? He got to see him, you know, go against Tyson. He got to see a lot of the tendencies, the habits, the patterns, and he exploited them very well. Would the fight have been the same if Ngano and AJ were the first fight? Who knows? Maybe it wouldn't have been the same, you know. But regardless, hats off to AJ. Great fight. Hats off to Ngano for stepping up and fighting the world's best back-to-back. -back. You know, ain't nobody doing that. Not even in boxing are these boxers doing that shit. So I hope a lot of the boxers took note and, you know, decided to fucking fight each other. Two more questions. Jorge, how much you did you take about from the first fight you had with Nate now that it's a different rule set and skill set? I can take a lot, man. He doesn't, uh, like I said earlier, he doesn't possess my hand speed, power, reflexes. So that's something that that no matter what set we're in with, with sport, we're playing fucking chess. I don't give a fuck. I'm just quicker with the mind and the fist, you know? What do you think Last of question. Conor McGregor against Chandler? Con it's fucking, I don't know, man. Just test that motherfucker. <laughs> you know, we've all been here getting tested. USADA's been knocking at my door for fucking years. It's, it's uh, I don't want to see people properly get drug tested, you know? Because if I'm getting drug tested, all motherfuckers should be getting drug tested. Are they still knocking on your door? No, 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 because I'm retired now yeah, and I'm yeah. doing the boxing, but there's another commission in charge of it now, WADA. All right, thank y'all. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, boy.